Did you know that certain foods could actually increase your risk of dementia? It sounds unbelievable, but it's true. In this video, we're revealing six common foods that could be wreaking havoc on your brain health. Stick around as we explore what's hiding in your diet because once you know, you can take action to protect your brain. Let's get started. Number 1. Alcohol When consumed in moderation, alcohol can be an enjoyable addition to a nice meal. However, excessive consumption can have serious effects on the brain. The effects associated with chronic alcohol consumption are brain shrinkage, metabolic alterations, and changes in neurotransmitters which are chemicals used by the brain to pass messages. Research analysis shows that people with alcoholism are usually deficient in vitamin B1. This can lead to a brain disorder known as Wernicke's encephalopathy, and when advanced it results in Korsakoff's syndrome. This syndrome is distinguished by severe damage to the brain, including memory loss, disturbances in eyesight, confusion, and unsteadiness. Excessive consumption of alcohol can also have negative effects on non-alcoholics. Heavy one-off drinking causes the brain to interpret emotional cues as different from the normal way. For instance, a person becomes less sensitive to sad facial expressions and more sensitive to angry facial expressions. These changes to the ability to recognize emotion are believed to be the cause of alcohol-induced aggression. In addition, the pregnant woman, and the fetus in particular, has various orogenic diseases which are as follows. Due to the maturity of its brain, alcohol can cause terrible effects such as developmental disorders including fetal alcohol syndrome. In total, the same recommendations apply concerning alcohol consumption. It is better not to drink at all if you are a teenager or a young man, and never drink to excess. While pregnant, consumption of alcohol is still mild and it is preferable to abstain from it together. Number 2. MSG MSG stands for monosodium glutamate and it is an excitotoxin which in simple terms means that this substance can overstimulate nerve cells. Small quantities of naturally occurring glutamate the body can handle. However, high levels of MSG, as seen in processed foods, can interfere with the balance. When taken in large amounts, MSG can saturate neurons and cause them to die or get damaged. The effects of MSG are different. Some people are likely to experience adverse effects while others may not experience any problems at all. Companies use MSG to make the food taste better not necessarily because the product is tasty, but because the substance manipulates the human brain into thinking the food is good and thus we get to eat more. Thus, the best tip to avoid taking MSG is to check the label of the food or eating product as it is known under different names, including hydrolyzed protein or yeast extract. Often people do not know they exist. However, it is essential to have this information in order to keep your brain in a good state. In this way, you can minimize the consumed amount of MSG and help your head and the rest of your body stay healthy. Number 3. Sugary Drinks Sugary drinks can be in the form of soda, sports and energy drinks, fruit juices among others. They cause weight gain and have negative effects on type 2 diabetes and heart diseases, hence resulting in poor health of the brain. High blood sugar has the potential to increase the possibility of dementia in diabetic persons, in fact, even in non-diabetic persons. Immune excessive fructose consumption is associated with the likelihood of obesity, high blood pressure, high blood fats and diabetes, and arterial dysfunction, all of which are characteristics of metabolic syndrome. They can themselves pose long-term risks in the development of dementia. A number of animal-based research show that fructose intake causes the brain to become resistant to insulin, besides causing a reduced performance, memory, and learning as well as a reduced ability to generate new neurons. Another study that involved feeding rats with a high-sugar diet showed that it enhanced brain inflammation and worse memory in the same. When rats were fed HSFC, its cognoscent effect on the rat was worse compared to the effect of normal rat sugar. Another study showed that people who consumed foods containing high fructose were likely to gain weight, have poor glycemic control, and are more likely to develop metabolic and memory deficit disorders. Further human studies are required, yet these findings evidence that high fructose consumption in drinks has adverse effects on the brain beyond that of sugar. Substitutes for these sweetened beverages are water, unsweetened iced tea, vegetable juice, and unsweetened dairy products. Number 4. Trans fats Trans fats are a type of unsaturated fat that can have a detrimental effect on brain health. 
Though trans fats exist in natural form in meat and dairy products, these are not significant sources. What is unhealthy is industrially produced trans fats or hydrogenated vegetable oils. These artificial trans fats are present in products like shortening, margarine, frostings, snacks, ready-made cakes, and pre-packaged cookies. Research has shown that increased intake of trans fats leads to poor memory, lower brain volume, higher risk of Alzheimer's, and cognitive decline. Another study with a group of women revealed that women whose diet contained high amounts of saturated fat but low unsaturated fat were poor in memory and recognition acumen. It could be, therefore, that the proportions of fats and carbohydrates in the diet are what is significant, rather than the fats per se. For instance, high omega-3 fatty acid diets have been shown to have a positive impact on preventing cognitive decline. Omega-3s stimulate the production of protective proteins in the brain and may be beneficial for elderly people. Number 5. Artificial Sweeteners Are artificial sweeteners bad for the brain? The short answer is that we understand very little about the effects of long-term use of low or no-calorie sweeteners on cognition. Some later experiments have shown that intake of non-sugar sweeteners alters the activity of the brain placed in charge of taste and reward. This has chances of producing varying behavioral effects in different people. Due to such effects, may feel less satisfied once they consume a non-nutritive sweetener and therefore get a higher desire for calorie-dense foods. Reduced activations in brain regions involved in reward may result in either low or high consumption of sweet foods depending on a person's normally say. The chief manner in which non-nutritive sweeteners affect the brain seems to be through their effects on the gut microbial community. Non-nutritive sweeteners are not fermentable by the human body to produce energy, however, few bacteria in the gut microbiome are capable of metabolizing non-nutritive sweeteners. A few of these products or substances formed during breakdown are referred to as metabolites, and these may affect the brain. The composition of the breakdown products varies with the chemical properties of the sweetener under consideration and the variety of bacteria in the individual in question. The effects of such control measures, therefore, depend on the specific scenario in that it varies for everyone. Number 6. Highly Processed Foods Saturated fat, sugar, and salt are more common in highly processed foods. Examples are chips, sweets, noodles, microwave popcorn, commercial sauces, and processed foods. Most of these foods are high in calories but lack other nutrients that can help the body reduce calories and add value to the brain. Research that involved around 200 people established that raised levels of visceral fat were associated with damage to the brain tissue. A similar study documented more significant declines in brain volume at only the outset of metabolic syndrome. Another study found that a diet high in unhealthy ingredients resulted in lower levels of sugar metabolism in the brain and a decrease in brain tissue. These factors are thought to be markers for Alzheimer's disease. Additionally, a big review realized that higher intakes of fried foods and processed meat are associated with lower learning and memory performance. The same was discovered in this study which establishes that red and processed meats lead to inflammation and decreased cognitive function, learning behavior, as well as the blood-brain barrier that isolates the brain from other body organs in animals was also affected by diets rich in fats and sucrose. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more insights on brain health. If you know any foods that could be damaging your brain and causing dementia, please share them in the comments below. Until next time, stay healthy and curious.